This is the front of the box. This is the airflow channel here. Cool air comes in from here. Hot air goes out from here and is exhausted. So this is just a channel. The computer mid-tower case sits in this area here. It's important to note that these purple lines denote three-quarter inch quarter round that'll be placed in here with weather stripping on top of them so that when you put the door in it'll make a seal. The distance therefore which is normally 18 inches from here down to here is going to be reduced by the width of the three-quarter round which is an inch and a half three-quarter and three-quarters inch and a half so the effective height here the maximum height of your mid tower case can only be 16 and a half inches unless you increase the overall height of the cabinet. So it's got to slide in here. Okay. This is the side of the cabinet. These, this is where, this is a hole in the back, four inches by four inches near on the floor. So cool air on the floor coolest place in the room is being drawn in it's forced to go over these little barriers and there's a little when you're done there's a pad of uh, absorbent material that's put right here to stop sound that's coming from here hitting that to a degree so the air comes in here goes around these two little barriers barrier one barrier two and is enters the case in the bottom so this is a 120 millimeter uh, fan. The exhaust port is in the back, top back of the computer, so it's drawing out the hot air from the power supply, whatnot. And that's being forced to go around a U-turn and go out this 4x4 vent out. Okay. Then you have this little empty area here, which is cool to stuff things. This is the back of the cabinet. So this is your vent in, going into this area here, and this is your vent out. This is where your computer would sit in this area here, and there's a hole. This area here is a two and a half by two and a half inch hole cut through the back. And these are deflectors, they're about two inches tall, sticking up from the, from the back. So then you put this cover over that, so the wires can come out this hole, then they have to go down around this barrier and then go to wherever they go. So that's the that's the scope of that. The poor man's table saw. Put a couple pieces of two by four under the piece of old wood you got and tighten down the yardstick with some clamps and use that as a guide to saw off exactly what you want and you surprisingly get a clean cut. And knee pads are required to keep from wrecking your knees. Okay, here's the partially completed cabinet. That's the lower area that draws air in and it comes out of that front port. That's the exhaust right by the power supply. And it comes down that U-turn and comes out there. This is a picture looking down the U-turn at the top and you can see the absorbent pad, sound absorbent pad down in there in the U-turn. So the sound would have to go around that turn, hit that, be somewhat absorbed. That's the lower intake fan and you can see the pads there around the obstacles that the sound would have to go through but the air just comes around up and over those uh, dividers so this is how you mount the fan you do not want to use screws so you put a big glob of silicone on the four legs and on the four spots it's going to attach to inside the cabinet and place it so that the fan does not touch the wall because if it touches the wall then it's going to resonate and it's going to make noise not keep it quieter. After you've allowed the fan on the silicone to cure for 24 hours you need to cock around the fan. 
all the way around because sitting up in the air there's an air gap. And this is a much easier job to do when you do it and plan ahead because if you wait you're going to have to sit there and drink a bunch of beer. So here's the quarter rounds being installed and using a miter box to cut the 45 degree angles and you can see the weather stripping on all the quarter rounds to make a tight seal when you close the case, case up. If you put a nail through the quarter round and put glue on the back of it, you can position it exactly where you want it and then pound it in and put a clamp on it. This is the back of the cabinet. You see the seal all, all the way around where the computer compartment is. And everywhere, everywhere else there's the weather stripping except right down there at the bottom where you're going to have air intake. It doesn't extend into that area because there's actually a hole there, a 4 by 4 hole in the back panel. So here is the completed case with the front held on by hasps. That seemed to be a better idea than a hinge because a hinge would allow the door to swing out and I'd smack my leg into it and I'd be like really mad. Does, it, does this case work? It does reduce the sound level down to below the ringing in my ears from playing in bands all these years. But if I try to listen to it, I still can hear a very faint noise. This is the back with the back installed with the hasps and you can see the little uh, wire output place. And you got the exhaust port and at the bottom you got the air intake port. So then stuff everything with sound absorbing that you can.